all you dumbasses, it's Nuggins Story Tom. You better shut the fuck up and listen because I paid a lot of money to have this Shethan read his story to you. Welcome to Nick Jr. or Nuggins Story Time. My name is Oswald, better known as Ozzy Osbourne the Octodick. Today I will read my very first swell story. This story was how everyone, left parenthesis except Henry Wright parenthesis, became members of the Barney Bunch and the Betty Bunch. There are rumors that there is footage of this event in the pilot episode of my show, but that is yet to be found by the public. Enough of this chicken shit bullshit. Let the story begin. From Humble Beginnings. One fateful day I arrived in the big city in my car. This is not the wind-up car I own later on, but a car I borrowed from the moving people. Those assholes never showed up, meaning I had to move everything myself. Little did I know that this very moment changed my life forever. Wiener, I said, we will find some great butt buddies here. Just as soon as we get moved into our apartment. Borf, replied my doggo. Also, you see these fish right here. Well, this is the only time you will see them. Why? The reason is that the people who built their house fucked up on the design choice, and from the moment they opened their front door the water came rushing out, and they were left flopping on the sidewalk until they died. No one knows for sure what happened to their corpses that day. Some say they got grilled and eaten, others say they got hung on a plaque, and were forced to sing the same songs they've known since that day. But they were never seen again. However their house remains. Nobody else has lived there since the incident. Anyways I'm getting off track. We have arrived to our apartment. The first thing we moved was our piano. We started to push it up the stairs like push 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 but it did not move. Then we fucked the piano up the stairs like ha and we successfully got it up the stairs. We decided to rest for a while until the piano started going down the stairs. I quickly jumped on the piano hoping to stop it while fucking it, but I fell down the stairs along with it, and my doggo chased me, and it sounded like <laughs> And I passed some familiar faces such as Andy the Pumpkin, Steve the Wood Feeders Tree, Bingo Bunny, and some generic gingerbread men. <laughs> Side note, the reason why Andy looks different here is because he was just an ordinary pumpkin man. Then he sat on a banana, and that of course changed his life. Now back to the story. <laughs> I'm going to crash. And I fell into the fountain like splash 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 bag that was not swell at all. It was at this moment when I met Henry. I can even remember the first thing he said to me. I'm Henry. Say, don't you think it's a little chilly for swimming? As you can see, he was a bird dick ever since I laid my eyes upon him. I told him that I was moving my sexy piano to my apartment and he replied saying that he will help. And by help, he meant sitting on his poor feathers and doing absolutely nothing. So as we fucked the piano like <laughs> Henry just sat there and said, Be quiet I'm trying to help you. Soon Daisy the flower came <laughs> came up to us and said, Howdy do howdy do. I just did a whole bunch of cocaine. She offered to help, but since she was a lesbian woman I had her pushed from behind. Me and my doggo still fucked our piano like <laughs> Daisy snorted some crack like snort 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 and Henry just sat there reading his newspaper and screamed be quiet I'm trying to read my newspaper. We all felt very tired, even Henry who did not do anything to help. I then saw the snow testicle shack. We decided to get some snow testicles. Of course Henry wanted sardines whirl. That flavor had since been discontinued because everyone realized, sardines are just pretty damn disgusting. Salmon sorbet has replaced it since salmon is better. I walked up to Johnny better known as Big Chungus the snowman doing my best Pac-Man impression. He gave us some snow testicles, and offered to join our piano orgy. I gladly accepted, and we chowed down. After we finished our snow testicles Big Chungus, Wiener and I fucked my piano like <laughs> 
Daisy snorted more glamorous cool kids stuff like snort 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 and Henry was still licking his snow testicle while blurting out be quiet I'm trying to eat my snow testicle after a while we rested yet again I took this moment to show off my awesome piano skills I cracked my knuckles and began to play cliffs of Dover everyone danced along even Henry the egg boys Egbert and Leo showed up Egbert said cheese and rice do I hear someone playing Cliffs of Dover on a piano in perfection? And Leo replied, yes, yes, cheese and rice. Side note, Leo always had a strange fetish for saying yes yes at the beginning of almost every reply he makes to what Egbert said. Don't ask why, he doesn't know. Hello Egg boys, I proclaimed. Since you like my mad piano skills, do you want to join in our orgy as we push it into my apartment? The Egg twins proudly obliged. Me, my doggo, Big Chungus, and the Egg Boys resumed fucking the piano like <laughs> All the while the Egg Twins said ho. Yes yes ho ho and Daisy snorted a whole pixie stick like snort 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 and Henry sat there on his poor feathers and treat. Guys I'm hungry get me a muffin now, or I'll strangle your tail bones. Knowing he'll never actually do it, I was a little hesitant. But seeing as how I could get more help we decided to have a snack at the big diner anyway. There we met Madam Butterdick and Baby Butterdick. Madam said, are you all having an orgy? The reason why I asked this is, because I'm a raging lesbian and I want to fuck any, and all women having an orgy. Isn't that, right Katrina? Baby sounds etc. Katrina responded. I do indeed have a woman who is coincidentally a raging lesbian just like you. She got so excited, that she brought a fuck ton of cakes for this occasion. We pressed on just as soon as Henry finished his muffin. Once again, me, Wiener, Big Chungus, and the Egg Boys fucked the piano like <laughs> while the Egg Boy said ho. Yes yes ho ho, Daisy, Madam Butterdick, and Baby Butterdick fucked each other like <laughs> And Henry clinged tenaciously to the piano with his buttocks and roared out, Be quiet I'm trying to sleep. In no time we finally got my piano as well as my other things into my apartment. We decided to have some cakes. Of course Henry ate most of them, because he is a stupid, lazy, morbidly obese, straight, Antarctic officer penguin simping asshole. And we all had an orgy left parenthesis excluding Henry right parenthesis. Bag that was swell. Wiener my butt buddy boy, I said, this is the beginning of a lifelong homosexual friendship. That's the end of my story. But Oswald, you say, how did this land you into the Barney Bunch, if Drew Pickles or even Barney weren't there? Drew Pickles actually saw this event, when he was visiting here, after pushing the Nickelodeon staff, and recruited me and my, but buddy boys into the Barney Bunch. Betty DeVille also saw the event, and got all the, but buddy girls into the Betty Bunch. As for Henry, Drew told me that, if I can make him admit his true feelings for me, he would accept him too. That is all folks, watch Oswald every day on Nick Jr., or on the Noggin APP. Wait one candy can licking second, did I just show a story from a good show? Oh my god, I showed quality content, oh my god, I showed quality content. I'm so pleased that I, I won't even have a final speech. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>